all you who roam both young and old come listen to my story bold for miles around from far and near they come to see the rigs of the fair oh master john do you beware and know the gold kissing the girls at bridgewater fair the lads and lasses they come through from Stowies to Gersey and Cannington too. That farmer from Fiddington drew as me life. He's come to the fair to look for a wife. Oh, Master John, do you beware? And don't go kissing the girls at Bridgewater Fair. There's Tom and Jack, they look so gay. With Sal and Kit, they haste away to shout and laugh and have a spree and dance and sing right merrily. Oh, Master John, do you beware? And don't go kissing the girls at Bridgewater Fair. There's Carroty Kit, so jolly and fat, with her big flippity floppity hat. A hole in her stocking as big as a crown And the hoops of her skirt hanging down to the ground Oh, Master John, do you beware And don't go kissing the girls at Bridgewater Fair in jovial ploughboys all serene They dance the maidens on the green Says John to Mary Don't you know we won't go home till morning Oh, oh Master John, do you beware And don't go kissing the girls at Bridgewater Fair it's up with the fiddle and off with the dance And the lads and the lasses gaily prance And when it's time to go away They swear to meet again next day Oh, Master John, do you beware And don't go kissing the girls at Bridgewater Fair And I beheld some lover. She carelessly along did stray, a viewing of the daisies gay. And she sweetly sang a round delay, just as the tide was a flowing. Oh, her dress it was as white as milk and jewels. Adorn her, and the shoes were on the crimson silk, just like some maid of honor. Her cheeks were red, her eyes were brown, her hair in the ringlets hung it down. She'd a lovely brow without a frown, just as the tide was a flowing. And we made a vow and said, fair maid, how came you here so early? My heart by you it is a trade, and I could love you dearly. I am a sailor, I come from sea, will you accept my company? To walk and view the fishes play, just as the tide is a-flowing. No more we 
said the but on our way we walked along together and the small birds sang and the lambs did play and pleasant was the weather when we were weary we sat down beneath a tree with the branches round and what was done the shadow ne'er be found as long as the tide is a-flowing and as she lay there on the grass her colour it was a-changing and she cried out and said alas never let your mind be ranging Here's twenty pounds I have in store Pray use it when you will, there's more For me jolly sailor I adore Just as the tide is a-flowing We both shook hands and off did steer Jack to her drinks, a rum and a brandy and to keep his shipmates in good cheer The lady's gold is a handy So along with another pretty maid I'll go to a public house Where the beer do flow Success to the maid that will do so Just as the tide is a-flowing Now as I was a walking one morning in the spring, I met a fair damsel, so sweetly she did sing. And as we was a walking, she unto me did say, Now there's no life like the plough, oh boys, all in the month of May. Oh, the lark in the morning, she rises from her nest and flies all up into the air with the dew upon her breast. And like the pretty ploughboy, she'll whistle and she'll sing. And at night she will return to her home once again. When the ploughboy oh, has done all that he has got to do, perhaps unto the country wake a-walking he will go, and there with his lassie he will drink and he will sing, and at night they will return to their home once again. And as yeah, they, they return from the wake of the town, the meadows being mown and the grass it being cut down, if, if they by chance should tumble all on the new mown hay, oh, it's kiss me now or never, and this pretty maid would say, and it's twenty long weeks. Being over and being past, her mother did ask her the reason why she thickened around the waist. Oh, it was the pretty ploughboy, the damsel, she did say, who caused me for to tumble all on the new mown hay. So good luck to the ploughboy, wherever he may be. Who loves to take his lassie and sit her on his knee With a jug of the good strong beer He'll whistle and he'll sing For the ploughboy is as happy as a prince or as a king
as I went out one May morning, one May morning be time, I met a maid from home strain just as the sun did shine. What makes your eyes so soon, my dear? You're a journey to pursue. You're a pretty little feet, they tread so sweet. Strike off the morning dew. I'm going to feed my father's flock His young and tender lambs That over hills and over dales Lie waiting for their dams Oh, stay, oh, stay, you handsome maid And rest you here a while for there is none save you alone that I do love so dear. And now gloriously the sun do shine. How pleasant is the air. I'd rather rest on a true love's breast than any other way. For I am thine and thou art mine, no man shall uncome for thee. We'll join our hands in wedded bands, and married we will be. Down in sandbank fields to a sailors were a-walk In their pockets were both lined with gold And as together there he were talking A fair little maid they indeed behold with a little basket of eggs standing by her as she lay down to take her ease to carry it for her one of them offered the answer was sir if you please so it's one of the sailors, he took the little basket, there's eggs in the basket, please take care. And if by a chance you should outwalk me at the halfway house, please leave them there. Behold these sailors, they did out walk her the halfway house. They did pass by the pretty little damsel. She laughed at their fancy, and on the sailors she kept her eye. Oh, it's when these two sailors came into an alehouse, there they did call for a pint of wine. It's landlord, a landlord, what fools in the nation, this a pretty maid from her eggs we have twined. Landlord, landlord, bring us some bacon, we have got these eggs and we'll have some dressed. Behold, these sailors were very much mistaken, as you shall say when you hear the rest. Oh, twas then that the landlord, he went unto the basket, expecting there some eggs for to find. He said, young man, you're very much mistaken, instead of eggs I found a child. Then one of them sat down to weeping, the other said, 
It's not worthwhile. Here's fifty guineas I'll give to the baby if any woman will take the child. This pretty little damsel was sitting by the fire, and she had a shawl drawn over her face. She said, I'll take it and I'll kindly use it, but first I must see the money paid. One of the sailors, he threw down the money, great favour to the babe was shown. Well, since it is so, then let's all be friendly, for you know this baby is yours and mine. For it's don't you remember a dancing with Nancy as long ago as last Easter day? Oh yes, I do, and it pleased my fancy, and now the fiddler I have paid. One of the sailors, he went to the basket and he kicked the basket over and o'er. Well, since it is so, may we all be contented, but I'm hanged if I like eggs any more. There was an old couple lived under a hill, and blunt it was their name, oh, and they had a good beer and ale for to sell, and it bore a wonderful name, oh. John Blunt and his wife drank free of this ale till they could drink no more, oh, and then up to bed the old couple went but forgot to bar the door, oh. So they a bargain, bargain made, they made it strong and sure, oh, the witch of them should speak the first word, should go down and bar the door, oh. And there came travellers, travellers three, a travelling through the night, oh, and no house, no home, no fire at day, nor yet no candle light, oh. They came straightway to John Blunt's house and quickly opened the door, oh, and they devil of a word, the old couple said, for fear who should bar the door, oh. They went to his cellar and drank up his drink until they could drink no more, oh, and they went to his cupboard and ate up his meat till they could eat no more, oh. It's first they had in the white puddings, and then they had in the black. Oh, the old woman, she listened and said to herself, May the devil slip down with that, oh. Then quickly they procured a light, and quickly went upstairs, oh. And then they threw the old woman out of her bed, and they laid her on the floor. Up spoke John Blunt, you let me meet, and laid me wife on the floor, oh. You spoke the first word, John Blunt, and she said, go down and bar the door, oh. Travelings a love will cause a you for to weep. 
On the hills, on the lofty mountains, they will blister your tender feet. And besides, you will not yield to lie out in the field with me the whole night long. And your parents would be angry if along with me you should come. Oh, me friends, I do not value you, and me foes, oh, I do not fear. For along with me jolly soldier boy, I will ramble far and near. Neither gold nor madden shall deceive me, but along with you I'll go. For to fight the French and the Spaniards, or any other daring foe. Well, it's since you prove so venturesome as to venture your sweet life. First of all, I will marry you and make you my lawful wife. And if anyone shall offend you, I'll attend you that you'll see. And you'll hear the drums and the trumpets sound in the wars of high Germany. It was over that wild beaten track, Twas said a friend of Bonaparte's Did pace the sands and the lofty rocks Of St. Helena's shore. And the wind it blew a hurricane, The lightning fierce around it dart, The seagulls were a shrieking, And the waves around it roar. Ah, shrewd winds, the stranger cried, A while I ranged the spot, Where last the gallant hero Did his weary eyelids close. Ah, and though at peace his limbs do rest, His name will never be forgot, This grand conversation on Napoleon arose. Oh, alas, he cried, Why, England, did you persecute that hero bold? Much better had you slain him On the plains of Waterloo. For Napoleon, he was a friend to heroes all, both young and old. He caused the money for to fly wherever he did go. When plans were forming a night and day, the bold commander to betray, he said, I'll go to Moscow, and there I'll ease my woes. And if fortune smiles on me that day, then all the world shall me obey. This grand conversation on Napoleon arose. Oh, his men in thousands then did rise to conquer Moscow by surprise. He led his troops across the Alps, oppressed by frost and snow. And being near the Russian land, he then began to open his eyes, for Moscow was a-blazing, and the men drove to and fro. Napoleon dauntless viewed the plain, and then, in anguish at the same, he cried, Retreat, me gallant men, for time so swiftly goes. Ah, what thousands died in that retreat, some forced their horses for to eat. This grand conversation on Napoleon arose. Oh, at a Waterloo they bravely fought, commanded by this Bonaparte. Field Marshal Ney did him betray, for he was bribed by gold. And when Blucher led the Prussians, it nearly broke Napoleon's heart. He cried, me thirty thousand men are lost, and I am sold. He viewed the plain and cried, all's are lost, and then his favorite charger crossed. The plain was in confusion with blood and dying woes. And the bunch of roses did advance and boldly entered into France. This grand conversation on Napoleon arose. Oh, this Bonaparte was planned to be a prisoner across the sea, the rocks of St. Helena, oh, it was his final spot, and as a prisoner there to be, till death did end his misery, his son soon followed to the tomb, it was an awful plot. 
Hadn't long enough have they been dead, the blast of a war around us spread, and may our shipping float again to face the daring foes. And now, me boys, when on a calls, we'll boldly mount those wooden walls, this grand conversation on Napoleon Rose. And it's whispered in the hall Oh, the broom blooms among me And the broom blooms fair That the king's daughter goes With a child to her brother And they'll never go down To the broom anymore has taken his sister down to her father's dear park. Oh, the broom blooms about me, and the broom blooms fair. Oh, with a yew tree bow and arrow, so long the fast across his back. And they'll never go down to the broom anymore. So when that you hear me give a loud cry Oh, the broom blooms about me And the broom blooms fair Shoot from your bow and arrow And there let me lie And we'll never go down To the broom anymore That you see that I am lying dead. Oh, the broom blooms about me, and the broom blooms fair. Then you'll dig for me a grave, put a turf at my hand, and we'll never go down to the broom anymore. When that is heard, I give a loud cry. Oh, the broom blooms a me, and the broom blooms fair. And then a silver arrow from his bow, he suddenly let fly. And they'll never go down to the broom anymore. a grave, both long, wide and deep. Oh, the broom blooms about me, and the broom blooms fair, and he's buried his own sister with her child at her feet, and they'll never go down to the broom anymore. Then he has gotten back Unto his father's open hall Oh, the broom blooms about me And the broom blooms fair And there was music and there was minstrels And a dancing and all But they'll never go down To the broom Oh, Willie, oh, Willie, 
What gives you such pain? Oh, the broom blooms upon me, and the broom blooms fell. I have lost the sheath and a knife that I'll never see again. And we'll never go down to the broom anymore. There are ships of your fathers all sailing on the sea. Oh, the broom blooms upon me, and the broom blooms fair. And that'll bring as good a sheath and a knife unto thee. But they'll never go down to the broom anymore. There are ships of me father's all sailing on the sea. Oh, the broom blooms about me, and the broom blooms fair. But such a sheath and a knife they can never bring to me. And we'll never go down to the broom anymore. I am a young lad and me fortune is bad What riches I had is all plunder I've spent all my money on girls and strong beer And if ever I get rich tis a wonder It's field after field to market I've sent it till my land was all gone And me money all spent Me heart was so hard I could never repent And was that that brought me to Lippenbaum Oh, once I could run whilst others did lie And strut like a crow in the gutter And the people said as they saw me pass by There goes Mr. Pop in a flutter In the top and top gallants I hoisted me sails With a fine bridge cravat and a wig with three tails But now I am ready to gnaw me old nails And drink the cold waters of Lippenbaum I had an old uncle lived down in the west And when he heard of my sad disaster Poor soul after that he could ne'er take no rest And his troubles came faster and faster He came to the jail for to view me sad case And as soon as I saw him I knew his old face I stood gazing on him like one in a maze And wished myself safe out of limbo Oh, Jack, if I set you once more on your legs And put you in credit and fashion It's will you leave off of these old rakish ways And try for to govern your passion Yes, uncle says I, if you will set me free I surely will always be ruled by thee And I'll labor me bones for the good of me soul And pay them for laying me in limbo He pulled out his purse with three thousand pounds And counted it out in bright guineas and when I was free from the old prison gates I went to see Peggy and Jeannie And me ragged old clothes they knew none of me gold And they threw me all out in the wet and the cold Yet I laughed out to see how those hussies did scold And jaw me for laying in limbo I hadn't been there for a very long time When my pockets they fell a-pickin' I banged them as long as me cane I could hold Until they fell coughing and kicking. The one cried out murder, the other did scold I banged them as long as me cane I could hold I banged their old bodies for the good of their souls And paid them for laying me in limbo da 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 dee dee dee
The trees they do grow high, and the leaves they do grow green. The day is past and gone, me love, that you and I have seen. It's a cold a winter's night, me love, when you and I must lie alone. The bonny lad is young, but he's growing. Oh, Father, dearest Father, you've done to me great wrong. You married me a boy, and I fear he is too young. Oh, a daughter, a dearest daughter, and if you stay at home and wait along of me, a lady you shall be while he's growing. We'll send him to the college all for a year or two, and then perhaps in time may love a man he may grow. I will buy a you a bunch of white ribbons to tie about his bonny, bonny waist. To let the ladies know that he's married. At the age of sixteen, oh, he was a married man. And at the age of seventeen, she brought to him a son. At the age of eighteen, me love, Oh, his grave was growing green, and so she put to an end to his growing. I made my love a shroud of the holland, oh, so fine, and every stitch she put in it, the tears come trickling down. Oh, once I had a sweet heart, but uh, now I have got never a one. So fare you well, me own true love forever. Now he is dead and buried, and in the churchyard laid. The green grass is all over him, so very, very thick. Oh, what I had a sweet heart, but uh, now I have got never a one. So fare you well, me own true love forever.